Hey everyone, uh, Pop Daddy here, and I'm coming to you on this uh, Sunday afternoon, and I'm here with a bonus episode. In fact, I'm going to be giving you three or four bonus episodes this week, one per day, uh, today, tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, maybe uh, Thursday, seeing how the reviews go, then the Friday episode, of course, this isn't replacing that, but I realize that my time is short uh, for me to go out and try new food, food items and give food reviews that aren't for baby. And so uh, we've got a lot of foods here, and I'm going to chop this up into four or five parts, and uh, then we'll see what's going on. Now, as you know, it is Easter season, and there is a lot of new candy out there, which is amazing looking. I haven't tried uh, much yet, but I um, wanted to uh, try some for you, and there's some unique novelty items, and... Uh, let you know what's going on. So first things first here, I'm going to be doing two today. These were the two that I came out for today, and I found all this other stuff. So well, let's start off. This is Starlight Flavored Coca-Cola. It t It is space flavored. I don't know what space tastes like, but uh, let's give it a shot. Ooh, okay. That's cotton candy. That smell is definitely cotton candy. Cotton candy soda. And if you can see, if I hold up there, it's more of a red tint than a the dark brown that Coke usually is. So let's uh, give it a swirl. Yeah, that's cotton candy. That is definitely cotton candy. Cotton candy soda. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. One of the better sodas that I've tried for you guys. But um, next, you know, is the big old piece that everyone's been waiting for. Many people have uh, brought this up saying you got to try those. So and here they are, and they are uh, late night taco truck jelly beans. And the flavors are. Uh, as you see, margarito, churro, salsa, guacamole, beef taco, and horchata. Break these guys open here. Well, there's a little pre-rip slab. I had to go to seven stores to find these. So let's open them up and see what we're working with. Oh, that is a big old mess, big old smell of messiness. So let's see here. Let's see these guys out, out of here first. Back in about May, I was in Tennessee. I went to a moonshine tasting. And what they do is when you do it, they start with the strongest, most flavorless rubbing alcohol moonshine first. So from there, the only place you go is up when it comes to uh, terms of great moonshine. And uh, that first one was like pure rubbing alcohol. So, I got myself a beef taco jelly bean, right there. Let's give it a, down the hatch. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Ah. I don't like that at all. Ugh. That's terrible. Ugh. That was the beef flavor. Well, the only place we can go now, the only place we can go now is up. So let's uh, give a shot with uh, guacamole down the hatch. Okay, that one's not as bad, but hopefully I'll be able to keep that down. Salsa. That's weird. That is really weird. It's crazy weird. Let's do margarita next.
Mmm. That one's pretty good. Horchata. Mmm. That one's really pleasant. I like that one. And finally, this is another beef taco one. Okay. It is churro. I've tried a lot of churro guy things for you guys. That one's not too bad. Okay, so... This one, there are one, two, three, three decent ones, two terrible ones, and one that just toes the line. The salsa, probably because the salsa isn't meat flavored, is probably why why it's not that bad. But that beef taco is just terrible. Um, I would say give these a try. Uh, three out of five, out of six. So there's fifty percent good ones in here. So. You know, give those a shot. And of course, you know, I got the links on the side. I'm going to put the bumper to the back because I'm trying three three more things today. So, you know, I'll see you in a few seconds. Actually, no, wait, I, you won't. You'll see me tomorrow with a, uh, I'm going to upload the videos one a day. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.